Hi everyone, this video is in support of the multimodal presentation you've got to do for narratives. So what I've done is I've started with PowerPoint and just put the image of a couple of books um, on each slide. And what we want to do is find the recording tab. If you don't see this recording tab, you may need to activate it by clicking on the file and then selecting options. When this box appears, you'll see a customized ribbon tag on the left hand side and then to the far right you might find that your recording tab is there but it's currently unchecked. So I need you to check it and then click OK and that will appear um, and present itself as it's on my screen currently. So in essence what you want to do right now is then click on your first slide and then select record slideshow. Now by default yours may come up with a little thumbnail of your uh, image or your, or your photo of yourself uh, through your webcam but you can turn those on and off uh, sorry there you go and you can turn those on and off if you don't want them to appear. Once you've prepared your presentation though, what you're then going to do is click record and you can then annotate using one of the pen markers, uh, highlight uh, sections or draw things and uh, obviously draw attention to one of these. You can then obviously then fast forward to the next slide and start your presentation for the next um, the next slide over and then I'm going to select stop once you've done. You can then replay and preview what this looks like and when you close this particular window you'll find that on the slides themselves your annotations will be there along with a video thumbnail or a uh, speaker um, if you've not uh, clicked on your thumbnail and ready to go. Once you've done all that and you're happy with your presentation, you'll find a publish to stream option. And so publish to stream, uh, stream is uh, the new platform for video, it's like in-house YouTube for us. And so at this stage here, you will title your presentation um, and then select these options, allow everyone in your organization to see this video. If you uh, select that, it will become public. If you don't select it, it will give you a link that only people who you share the link with will be able to preview it. So that link there you share with your teacher so they can mark it and, and view the material. Um, and then you've also got this other stuff here that uploads your original PowerPoint so people can possibly download it as well. So what I want to show you now is another opportunity for you to use a different type of tool to do the same presentation and that's really using PowerPoint and the screen recording section of that and maybe OneNote to present this slightly differently. So have a look at this and see if this may be a benefit to you. I'm going to create a new slide and click on insert and then under media I'll select screen recording. Now what I'm going to do now is go to uh, a OneNote file and I might actually select a space that is the full screen but then I'm also going to magnify OneNote. Now in this screen recording, the way this works is a little bit different. It's going to give me a 3 to one counter but and I can annotate sections of, uh, of this in OneNote but what it's also going to let me do is using my pinch and drag mechanisms, I might actually be able to zoom in and focus uh, on various parts of the image um, and, and zoom out. So it's another way of actually maybe drawing attention to parts of an image. Um, it's a little bit more dynamic. So when you finish that sort of recording, hover your mouse towards the top, that'll stop the video from running and that will put the presentation straight onto a slide. And then if I fast forward, you'll see that that's actually captured um, the elements of, uh, of my movement. Okay, so just something else that you may think comes in handy. You can still record things like that in this particular program and click on the recording tab and publish the stream. So um, you've got two platforms obviously to use uh, depending on what your preference is. Alright, see so you go. I hope that helps. Take care.